Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is Rahul. Today I am going to make a video on what is meant by O double E and how to calculate that one by using specific format. OEE meaning Oral Equipment Efficiency. From this, uh, in this we have to calculate this ratio, and from this ratio we will get actual causes of the less production. Okay, where the actual product problem is created. And uh, how to find it problems and solve the problems by suggesting the specific solutions for them. Okay, so let's get started without wasting our time. So I have this format. I have made this format to calculating the overall equipment efficiency. So how much data is needed for calculating this data? I will explain you step by step. Okay, and. First of all, understand. Let us get understand. So, how much this ratio should be? Actually, this ratio should be greater than eighty five percent. Okay. If this ratio is eighty five greater than eighty five percent, so the process is going good or okay. We can say okay production. Okay. Uh, and if this ratio is uh, less than eighty five percent, so there will be problem during the production anywhere. Okay. So find for finding that problem where the actual problem is created, which is the cause of the less production, we can find out by using this data. Actually, this is the documentation, or uh, we can say this is the process of finding out the where the extra time is we are taking, and uh, how we can reduce that time and neglect that time. Okay. So for that, I have this total time. Okay. So my shift is going for eight point five hours. Okay. Uh, it may be ten hours also. In most of the industries, uh, there are different time of the shifts. Okay. It may be eight hour. It may be eight point five hours, ten hours, or twelve hours also. So we have to put your shift hours, total shift hours. This is your total time. Okay, just convert this eight point five hours to minutes. So this is all five hundred and ten minutes, which I got for this shift. Now next, for calculating this overall equipment efficiency, we need to calculate the three rate or three percentage. Okay. So, first one is availability ratio, okay, and this one is this second one is performance ratio, and the third one is this quality ratio, okay. So let us get understand step by step. For calculating this availability ratio, we have to take ratio of this plant production time to this actual operating time, okay. So what the what is the plant production time? For this is the four sixty five, okay. Four hundred sixty five is the to, uh, pro plant production time, and how I get this time from here, from this, okay. In in a shift, there is a ten minute of first break, and the fifteen minutes of second break, and the thirty minutes for the lunch break. We have to uh, minus this time. From this 510 minutes from the total shift, okay. Means this means for how much time my machine is working in in condition, okay. So that I get total running time of this machine, okay. And uh, during this 45 minutes, my machine will be idle, okay. Because here is for, uh, here is the uh, time. For our first break, second break, lunch break, in this uh, machine machine will be stopped. So we get this 465 minutes for running on this machine. And next, let's move to the actual operation time, actual operating time. Okay. Now I have took this 60 minutes. Here you can see this 60 minutes only for. Uh, let's consider. Uh, the uh, any problem any problem has been created to my uh, to my line okay and uh, the my uh, 
one of the machine is uh, under maintenance and uh, uh, it it took so uh, near about uh, 60 minutes for getting clear that meant uh, by the maintenance team okay so maintenance team took the 60 minutes for clearing that machine problem so we have to mention here okay if there is no any breakdown in machine so i will put here zero zero minutes okay so actual open time becomes 465 okay here you can see so i am going to put 40 minutes for the breakdown my machine is under maintenance for 40 minutes so how much time is remaining 425 okay you can put it over here 60 or so like this and now so 405 minutes means 7.75 hours it is all about availability ratio means from here you can calculate the what for what time my machine was available for me for doing this production now let's move to the performance ratio okay for calculating this performance ratio we have to take the ratio of this target production to the actual production okay now my target production is 1550 okay so one question will be arising in your mind uh, that uh, I think that should be uh, from where this value comes to target production okay for calculating this target production you have to know your UPH of your machine okay actual my machine UPH is this 200 okay unit per hour uh, per hour how much pieces my machine is creating it's called this unit per hour so um, for calculating this target production okay we have to multiply this UPH by this actual operating time 7.75 multiply this 200 so how much I get this 1550 okay and uh, one more question will be arising in your mind that will be so where from here this value comes 200 okay so this 200 value comes from my machine okay like uh, we have to calculate our UPH for a specific section. My section UPH is 200. Okay, this is machine UPH. So we have to calculate this UPH also. And uh, next, let's move to the next actual production. Okay, and here you can see my actual production is 1450 among this. 1550 okay so where is this uh, 100 difference comes from okay so this is the question for us so actually during working most of most of the time what happens the manpower is new and the manpower is unskilled okay so that's why our uh, uh, there will be uh, uh, there will be less speed during working by this manpower because why why the manpower is unskilled whether the manpower is not well trained because of the manpower is taking a uh, last time as design value or design time if we have defined for manual work 12 seconds for a piece okay but uh, what, uh, what happens in actual manpower took 24 seconds 20 seconds for doing that manual work so most of the time spent in this and the next reason should be or will be this machine also okay uh, in machine most of the operation is happening in the uh, automation so most of the time uh, any sensor get uh, stopped working any part of the system any small part of the system also get damaged okay means this the action which has been done by this machine for the less production so because of that I have to care 100 100 pieces are less as my target production so I will minus this 100 from this 1550 so how much is remaining 1450 ok now this is uh, all about performance ratio from here we can calculate this our performance ratio it totally depends on the performance of the machine and man manpower now let's move to our third point this is the quality 
now we can calculate this quality rate by actual production to the okay production now what is our actual production here you can see this is our 1450 actual production now and let's move to the next up okay production what is the okay production here you can see 1430 only why this happened because 20 got get 20 pieces gets defected okay so quality uh, most of uh, during working industry because of any reason most of the part got defected okay so total output uh, will be uh, less as actual production because of this so we have to minus this 20 number it may be 10 it may be it depends on uh, how many products got defected at output so i will minus these 20 numbers from this 1450 so how much is remaining 1430 okay now we will focus on how to calculate this ratio now we got all the data which is necessary for calculating this data so here is our operating time and plant time here is our performance rate and here is our quality rate so just take this uh, dividends like a plant time which is 405 and this is the operating time 405 okay so this ratio is 1 divide is 405 by 405 now next this is calculate this performance rate by dividing target production to the actual production this by this so we get this ratio and next this calculating cal quality rate divide the total production to the ok production we get this ratio ok and uh, this is the last one process we have to multiply this ratio next this ratio next this ratio to all these three ratio we have to multiply and by multiply this again by 100 here you can see multiply this 3 ratio and after that multiply this 100 we can get this OEE ratio ok so guys this is all about overall equipment efficiency ok you have any doubt so you can comment in the comment box and I will try to solve that problems also and you can get all the videos related to mechanical engineering to my channel so kindly subscribe my channel and watch the more videos ok if you have any suggestions for me so kindly comment in the comment box ok thank you very much friend for watching my video